Good morning, Clay Thompson here at Guarantee RV Center. Today I'm going to show you a new 2018 Mobile Suites 38 RSB3. So as we come in the doorway here, we'll notice that our entry cabinet has all of our switches, uh, exterior lighting, hot water heater, everything all in this cabinet with the RV power monitor, the power control system, air conditioning unit, uh, uh, um, light there for the hang up the coats, the uh, satellite hookup as well as the uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter and the remote for the fantastic fan in the ceiling. This comes standard with its clock there in the doorway. Fuse panel and breakers down below. This one has the option of the tank heaters. They're a 12 volt blanket heater on the tanks as well with the central vac system. Cabinetry here is all adjustable shelving. We can adjust that's backlit. Notice the hinge work, the solid cabinetry. Lower cabinet, or this could be used as a pantry in the kitchen area as well, but adjustable shelving lid as well. We come across over here, we got the residential refrigerator, the deep freeze. This is a Whirlpool residential refrigerator. We got side cabinets here for spices. Just something that they do, and they do not want to leave any space that's usable, unusable. So they try to use every little nook and cranny they can down below, up top, nice big countertop area. Notice that it is a lit edged countertop with a residential style deep sink uh, and a rinse area here. Nice contemporary looking faucet, spray nozzle. We got the drawers here, nice clear clean cut plywood with the soft touch closed drawers, garbage container cabinet under sink area and then I will show you also that this is one of those units that in the island has the reversible doors on the back side so we can get in from underneath the sink from either side. Dishwasher, another big pots and pan drawer, nice kitchen uh, galley here. We have the uh, three burner cooktop. This has the new oven range with the see-through glass, make it more uh, residential look and feel. Good size three burner or three shelf selection for our oven. They changed the cooktop here. This can, you can get in either an electric cooktop or the gas. The new gas style has got the little cast iron grates on top, but they did this in case we're gonna cook with a griddle. We can get nice even temperatures across our griddle or one end warmer than the other. Uh, just makes it nice for uh, that kind of lifestyle. Nice solid backstop there. The uh, microwave convection, residential size. Again, lots of cabinet space. All very usable space. Get over here into the uh, appliance garage. Has a pull out tray plug in in the back for our appliances. This comes with the uh, Voyager backup camera as well. And again, another adjustable shelf backlit with this one has the glass covers on it. So we have the backlight at night. Large pots and pan drawers. This one's got the divider for our silverwares, plates, cups, whatnot, if we don't want them moving around while traveling. All the way down. Large LG flat screen TV. Overhead entertainment here, and this is all residential entertainment systems. S Sony, WineGuard power antenna. All pre-wired for solar and or satellite. Lots of light switches, lots of plug-ins. A uh, little desk area here. Cabinetry on both sides. Uh, we got the subwoofer for the surround system uh, back underneath here that's adjustable. We could put shelving in there, but at this point they're left open because everybody has different ideas. But there is one on each side. Notice that the back area is a non-carpet. 
That's what they call the Louisiana carpet cut. Uh, a lot easier to keep clean. We do have residential carpet underneath the uh, sofa that makes it into a hide bed The MC dual pane insulated windows are MCD roller shades with the dual pane insulated windows. Again, backlit cabinetry that's lit. Nice accent of the evening time. Large cabinets on both sides. This is special order with the solid wood balances for the windows. Plug-ins on both sides, plenty of light switches. Has the five, the, the, the residential styling uh, ceiling fan. Um, dimmer switch here for the living area. And then we have our reading lights and sconce lights switches here as well. We pan over, we got the overhead cabinetry above the love seat option. Uh, and the door side slide out that's going to give us our uh, love seats and the uh, uh, dinette all in one slide. This dinette has the freestanding table and chairs and it has drawers and cabinets in the dinette where a lot of units you'll see that that would look that way but they're not functionable. Uh, this is got the USB ports and the 110 plug-ins. Again, several light switches. This table pulls out to give us a larger table. There's a lock underneath here that locks that for travel and or will extend out for a four person table and two more folding chairs stored away in the bedroom. Again, the window balances, all solid wood throughout. Lots of light switches. We have another dimmer switch here for the kitchen light. And then above, you'll notice the overhead LED lighting as you can see it blinking so with the lights off we can do that that looks very very nice and elegant at nighttime come on up let me show you the upstairs this has a nice solid separation solid door with the uh, glass inlay Dimmer switch for the bedroom is in the hallway here. Lights for the hallway is here. Uh, nice window area here in the hallway to brighten it up. Come on in the bathroom. You'll notice this has the large shower with seating. Nice big vanity. Medicine cabinet above the sink. Solid surface countertops in the bathroom. Fantastic fan that's adjustable. Uh, porcelain toilet. Uh, lots of cabinetry, as you'll notice, in the bathroom. That's something that's kind of rare on a lot of fifth wheel coaches. This one has the trifold doors, or bifold, excuse me, doors here. This will allow us to put a side-by-side -side washer and dryer in if, if we like, or a nice big closet area. Rack above for your uh, detergents. Storage above here. Then we walk into the bedroom, big king bed, two folding chairs for the dinette, backlit above for your reading lights above the bed, window there, fantastic fan here, padded ceiling. Now remember, this coach has a three and a quarter inch thick wall, so it's gonna be very warm in the, in the winter months and stay very cool because of the insulation factor in the thick walls in the summertime. Uh, USB and 110 plug-ins next to the bed. Large closet area that's all lit. As I said, this one just came in, so we have not unwrapped the comforters and the pillows, but as you can see, we got drawers inside. It's a walk-in closet. Storage above. Hang racks. We got three different hanging racks here with the cedar line uh, wall closet and the built-in safe. Swing around here, this one has the big LED uh, LG TV with your vanity here. This one has the vanity slide out, so it goes out a little bit to give us more depth here in the room for moving around, changing and whatnot. Notice up here we have the padded ceiling as well. Great sound deadener, as well as works as an insulation factor as well. And uh, this one has the Whisper Quiet air conditioning units that has the intakes off to the side instead of the main plenum set right in the middle of your of your bedroom. Come on outside and I'll show you a few other things. 
As we walk here, you'll notice that the uh, flooring throughout in the hallway and in the kitchen, these are individually laid planks. This is not a linoleum. It's not something that comes out on a roll. They're individual planks. Like I said, has the uh, uh, vanity slide in the bedroom that comes out, frameless windows, dual power awnings with the Illumigard uh, awning savers. One thing I want to point out on the mobile suites is this is a two by six, double stacked, two by three on top, two by 15 uh, framework on this. This has a two by six extension that comes from all the way to the front, all the way back here, does not stop here like most of the others, has full strength all the way up to around in this area that is a box tube frame rail rather than an I-beam chassis to support your floor decking and your bedroom. Inside here is a very large basement. This one's pre-wired. If you wanted to set up an exterior TV, we can do it. Very large interior area uh, that's lit and heated. And when we look in here, I want you to look at that furnace unit here um, that they add their own plenum uh, cover to the front of the furnace unit. Notice the different size um, heat ducts. That gives you uh, equal heating throughout the coach so we don't have the hot and cold spots whereas the others just use the holes that are on the unit as they buy it from their supplier which are all the same holes therefore you're going to have uh, cool and hot spots throughout the coach because you're running the same size diameter hose for the long distance or the short distance. Big thick baggage doors, slam latch. This is a hung wall, not a laminate wall, therefore we don't have to worry about delamination. It's an aluminum frame, everything on 16 inch centers and our um, uh, sidewalls on 16 inch centers are screwed in to the aluminum, not welded. Therefore, uh, a lot of aluminum frame rails can break going down the road, hitting a lot of vibration where this is screwed together, not welded. Therefore, it's not going to come apart and separate. Automotive uh, finish on the, on the paint. You'll notice you won't feel the difference in your colors because they color sand and clear coat uh, between and after the finish. So it's a very nice automotive paint finish. This one has the optional power step, keyless entry, large 17.5 H rated tires with disc brakes and more ride suspension. Another awning off the slide out gives us another full eight feet from the distance of the slide out being out with the Uniguard cover to protect our awning and give us plenty of shade throughout the whole side of the coach. Got a little storage box down below. Uh, lighting out in the back corner so we can light that up at night to uh, so give us some more lighting. Receiver hitch on the back end. Full one piece end cap with the Voyager backup camera. Everything's LED lights. This one is a, this, obviously the 50 amp service with a electric cord rail to wind up our cord when we're ready to move on down the road. Solid sidewalls on the slides throughout. Tapered lug nuts on the wheels. Um, you don't have to worry about these lug nuts backing off because they're tapered. Once they're torqued, they should never back off. They're just like something you'd see on a heavy equipment trailer. Um, so very safe. This has the six point uh, level up system. Large gas and electric hot water heater. Off door side compartment for the basement again. And let me show you inside here on this side. You'll notice this has a full coach filtration system. It has the full water manifold system. It has the wool insulation, not a fiber insulation. And with that water manifold system, what's great for the long term stayers and the full timers 
is if we have a water faucet that starts leaking on us under the sink somewhere on a Sunday afternoon and nobody's open to get parts, I can come out, turn the cold water off to the kitchen sink and have water to the whole coach so I'm not stop, you know, I can, not without water, I just don't have time to get the part. So I can turn it off, have full water use throughout the whole coach, and wait till I get the parts, come back and fix it, and then open that valve back up to have cold water back at the kitchen sink. Something that's very rare, I don't think you find in very many other coaches. Dual 10 gallon propane tanks on a pullout tray or sometimes people call that the 40 pound tanks for capacity. This is your battery disconnect switch, your auto leveling system, your exterior cabling if we're going to do portable cable or park cable uh, with a few light switches as well as we can control the power step from here uh, to open the door. When we get out of our truck we're going to unhook, we want to climb in, get out, come over here, open the steps when I get over there they're going to be already down for me. Um, this has our battery compartment area and our hydraulic systems all right here with an extra diagram here that shows us how to work the level up system. This one has the option for the two six volt batteries with the residential refridge. And then you'll notice that we have this one is prepped for a uh, generator so it already has the metal box in there or it can be used just as an extra cold storage has the rock protection uh, sprayed on the front and then painted over so uh, the chips aren't going to chip the fiberglass has the upgraded more ride pin box that's very nice if you've pulled very many fifth wheels you'll know that this more ride uh, rubber cushion pin box works very well and is very useful for these heavier fifth wheels. Um, that about wraps it up on this mobile suites today, but if you have any questions, feel free to call me direct at 541-979-1770. My name is Clay Thompson with Guarantee RV Center, and I do specialize in the mobile suites product. So if you have any questions on other inventory or the product itself, feel free to give me a call. Thank you and have a great day.